riding the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. And to most people, if they know about the Mitsubishi Lancer, they may just think about it as this pedestrian sedan. Most Lancers are, but not this one. Under the hood of this car remains a four-cylinder, but a four-cylinder that has been stroked to kingdom come with a turbo. This thing outputs about just under 300 horsepower, 291 horsepower, it's all-wheel drive. In a word, this thing moves. To me, this car feels like some untamable beast. And while 300 horsepower is a lot, it, it's not like in the range of 500 and 600 of some of the other cars I've driven. And yet this car is so wild, it's crazy. You step on the gas, you put this thing in sport mode, and it just shakes. It's a light car, and the suspension is so tight that you feel everything. You could roll over dental floss and feel it. It's ridiculous. If you've got a bad back, stay far away from this car. But if you just want to have a lot of fun, it gives you a lot of bang for the buck. As apt for a high performance, really fast car, you need something on the other end of the equation. You need brakes that can stop this thing. And the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution definitely has them in the form of Brembo brakes. It's hard to miss them. Got these bright red calipers. That's great aesthetically, but what's really great is that they work. These brakes have the ability to bring this car to a stop in a hurry the driver's seat. It's a Recaro, which is known as a racing seat and really holds you tight. The only issue though is it's really low and there's no height adjustment. So if you're on the shorter side, be prepared to be barely seeing over the steering wheel. It would be nice if the Lancer Evolution offered a seat that was height adjustable. The trunk of the uh, Lancer Evolution, it, it's not entirely small, but it does have some limitations. For example, the rear seats don't fold down. The way this is set up, the battery and some other components were actually put in the trunk to get a perfect weight balance. So don't expect to get a whole lot of junk in this trunk. What I personally like about the Lancer MR Evolution is that aesthetically, it doesn't scream boy racer. This one you can consider a little more grown up. That said, it still looks great and features some really nice aesthetic components, such as on the bottom of the bumper, there are a form of fins, and that's actually to help create downforce. It also looks pretty cool. Evolution also differs from other base models in that it does have beefier wheels. You'll also notice some carbon fiber components all of these help set it apart and more than hint at the power within.